A warning now to pass along about the spread of an invasive plant in Michigan that's blooming right now. Yeah, it can grow nearly 10 feet tall and is so strong it can burst through concrete. For 10 Your Size, Josh Albertus is here to tell us more about this plant and what you can do to reduce its spread. Josh. Well, the plant we're talking about is Japanese knotweed. It's already established in Michigan, but experts are hoping to slow its spread. Here's a look at what it looks like. It becomes a large shrub with spiky white flowers. The stems have a fine white coating that rubs off easily. As you mentioned, the flowers bloom in August and September. Now, the problem is that Japanese knotweed grows aggressively, taking over native plants by blocking sunlight, and it also releases a chemical to suppress the growth of competing plants. And because it's so good at growing and spreading, it will outcompete, you know, native plants that are of value to the ecosystem. So, you know, our native flowers that are important for pollinators, um, native plants that insects use to eat that form the basis of our food chains. Um, this plant is very good at out competing our native plants because it doesn't have any predators. And getting rid of this plant is very challenging, but if you have it growing on your property, now is the time we're told to try and kill it. Using a product like Roundup works best and is found to be 94% effective, but you do need to soak the entire plant, and depending on the size, it might take a couple years before it dies off. And here's something you, need, you should also be aware of. Japanese knotweed is so strong, it can break through cement, so you want to make sure it does not grow near your driveway or the foundation of your home. If you have other questions, you can contact your county conservation officer. In the newsroom, Josh Albertus, 13, on your side.